thank you for joining in. Um, today we will talk about Decentraland. And why did I choose Decentraland? Um, because uh, I'll tell you a bit of a background. Um, let's start with Grayscale. Now, Grayscale is uh, one of the leading digital currency um, investors. They have very certain premium blockchain projects, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, in their portfolio. And they chose uh, Decentraland two or three years ago uh, from, a, from a gaming investment product standpoint. And today we will talk about uh, Decentraland in today's discussion. Now, what is Decentraland? Now, in a very short way or in a very layman way, it's a virtual land. Um, and in virtual land, you can create anything. Uh, just to mention that uh, Atari has taken a space into it. Um, there are some major, major, major partnerships that they have got into. Now, let me give you an example, you know, before we really get into it. And I'll show you how the virtual land looks like. Extremely, extremely out of the world experience. Now, imagine today if you want to order a pizza from Domino's, what are the steps do you take? You call up Domino's. No, I think it's a traditional way of doing it. Now, what you do these days is you go to the website or you go to the app. You look at the offers first, and then um, you go to the app, look at uh, the different pizzas, the different garlic breads, look at the combinations, and you order. How about you go to this virtual land? In the virtual land, you see Domino's or Pizza Hut's or a different pizza provider's shops. You go inside. And there is a, you know, a feel of that you are sitting inside the restaurants and you can see the specific menu on the walls. You can see the experience. You can see the people eating exactly the experience that you're going to feel if you are inside the shop. And you can choose a pizza from there. And you pay it through a crypto. And then exactly the same way, within 30 minutes, the pizza arrives at your doorstep. How cool is that, right? Now, this is just a one of the use of um, you know this virtual land. Just to mention, there are auctions happening of the land as well, and people are buying it. Uh, most most majority of them are um, the businesses, because if they want to hold exhibitions, if they want to hold anything um, which can be done on a virtual land, they're doing it. There are advertisements which are happening in this land as well and people are buying it now um, again before going to the specific um, application a quick intro about what has been the pricing of mana i know it's it's it is um, one of the factor for us to think about whether it's a great project or not so one thing is absolutely it's it's an old project that gives a lot of faith it has been there from 2017-18 um, it has already been part of uh, a big uh, decline in the Bitcoin value in 2018. So it stood there strong. And that's one of the factors why I've considered decentralizing. Uh, the short name is MANA. If you search for any of the crypto um, exchanges, MANA is a short for decentralizing. Um, quickly about the pricing. It starts with around 0 0.05 dollars reads to 1.46 1.47 and then may 2021 got a decline and now it is sitting at around 70 cents so that's just a bit of the pricing um to know where it is at at this time coming back to how decent it looks like and what can we do there now for example uh as you can see that you know this is the latest one uh, there is a music concert happening so let me uh, let me first jump into the the central end and show you i don't have the best of the graphics card but at least you will get the gist of it how does it look like and what can you do there all right 
Money is a decent lens virtual currency. Use it to buy land and other premium items. So it's loading right now. All right, we are inside the decent land. Now, who are these? Well, these are axes. Let me first discuss this one. Yeah, I don't have the best of the graphics card, but again, just for the education, education purposes, it's a good video to, to see. All right, so I'm going into inside the exhibition. Now, first, let me put them away. So press E to call axes to follow you, or press somewhere else to move them away. Okay, they're moving away. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, let me distract them first. So that's my um, avatar and... Right, I'm inside the exhibition. These are the fellow users. Of course, see, there is a lot of branding about Discord, Instagram, Twitter, you click on that, you can go to a specific page. So that's what happening in the in the digital world. Things up, let me see if we have anything in there. Get on um, async card. I'll go there, maybe, if I like this one, you know, let me see. Yep, if I want to see it on you go. You recognize this domain. The scene is directed to the async art website. Now, did you realize one thing that you are out of decentraland now and you are on the main website and here you can place your bid, you can buy something. And it talks about all the NFT uh, details into it. Let's pause it here. It's too much for you to think, too much for us to grasp what's happening, what's where the world is going. But it's good for us to know that uh, there is there is there are so many things happening in the virtual world, and we can't just be away from that. You know, we need to know whether would you play the game, would you would you do something there. You may may not, but the next generation is absolutely thinking on those lines. So with that being said, um, thank you all for joining in. We'll absolutely resume with the next um, topic and we'll have some more conversations around that. Thank you so much for joining.